everybody, welcome back. I'm so excited about this recipe because it's one of my favorites and it's not gonna take you more than about three or four things. You can make it fancy or you can make it casual because it's cool, it's refreshing, and it's the Kool-Aid icebox pie or the Kool-Aid no-bake pie. It's been around forever. So anyway, come on over here real quick because it's gonna be a lot of fun. And before I go on, happy, whoops, happy birthday Grimace. He turned 52. All those crazy TikTok videos were out and I remembered I had a Grimace glass. So happy birthday Grimace. Uh, I love, you know, I used to love collecting all the McDonald glasses and it was weird because I had my birthday at McDonald's and I wouldn't eat anything because I didn't like burgers. <laughs> I just didn't like burgers when I was a kid. I was so picky. So I had the birthday party. They gave everybody a shake. We got to make our own shake. And the funny thing about it is I ate French fries at my birthday, but I was so happy because the clown came. So anyway, and he was okay looking clown. He wasn't too scary. So I was excited. So anyway, big cheers. I've got the margarita today on a lot of ice. Love it. Mm. Yum, cheers to everybody. I hope you're keeping cool out there. Come on back here real quick. Like I tell you, this isn't gonna take more than a few minutes and you're gonna love it. You're gonna love this. So you're gonna need, uh, the first thing you're gonna need is uh, condensed, uh, sweetened condensed milk. And you can buy, they call it sweetened condensed creamer. You can buy this anywhere. I got this one at the dollar store. You can get it at Kroger but it doesn't matter. I don't think they can call it sweet condenser cream. Something's weird about that. But anyway, and you're just gonna have to mix it. And this is a set and go, guys. You're just gonna have to refrigerate and that's it. And this pie is gonna be ready and you're gonna love it. But you are gonna need Kool-Aid. So you pick the Kool-Aid that you like. If you want the lemonade, that's fine. I like to go with the black cherry. That's my favorite. The lime is also very good because it tastes like key lime pie. So I think that's all done in there. I probably should have opened this up with the opener, but I didn't want to because I knew I'd spill it all over myself. So anyway, so you've got your you've got your condensed milk in there, your sweetener condensed, and don't get evaporated milk, whatever you do. I had a friend that did that, it doesn't work out. It doesn't turn out. So anyhow, add your Kool-Aid. So these are the first two things you're gonna add. And you're gonna have to make sure, as you can see, it's powdery. You're gonna have to blend this first because you don't want the streaks in there. You don't want it to be streaky like, you know, just the lines. You want it to look really good and really mixed. And it's gonna give you kind of like a, kind of like a dark pink color. And it doesn't come out this dark. I can tell you, when you once you put this in the fridge, you're gonna actually, it's gonna come out really light colored. It's gonna come out like rose pink. So anyway, as you can see, look how dark it looks. So these are the two things that we added. The sweetener, the condensed, uh, sweet and condensed milk. And the star of the show, of course, is gonna be the Cool Whip. Cool Whip's always cool. Always cool. And you're just gonna add this. And you're gonna blend this really good. Oh, and I forgot, you're gonna need a graham cracker. You're gonna actually, and if you don't want crust, that's fine, then don't put the crust, but you could just put this in a pie shell, actually, and put some cookies at the bottom. I've, I've done that before when I'm in a hurry, just crush some cookies in a pie shell if you wanna do that. If not, just go and get yourself, get yourself one of the pie, one of the pie up hands here with the graham cracker crust. Mm, I can't quit eating all this. Mm. I was eating half the bag of marshmallows before I started. I thought, okay, I gotta start this, I thought, because I'm gonna end up eating everything. So mix this to get a really nice color, guys. Make sure it's really mixed, because like I tell you, everything's gonna be at the bottom. Everything's gonna be at the bottom, so let me see. And you decide if you want the little peaks on top or if you just want it smooth. That's up to you. I like the little peaks. I like to also decorate it. You don't have to do any of that. You can eat it plain, and you can add ready whip to the top. So this is just such a fun recipe, like I tell you. And it, you know, who doesn't have, you know, we all grew up with Kool-Aid. I like Kool-Aid, I don't drink a lot of it anymore, but I keep some around because I like this pie recipe. And it takes two hours, guys, two hours in the fridge. There it is, it's all nice and pink. And take your little lid out, Guys, when you take this out, don't throw it away because you're gonna use this on top in case you have to take this to a party. And this is a hit at a party, I'm just telling you. This works at a party. So go ahead and just scoop this in. Scoop this into your 
pie shell. Comes out really pretty, really fluffy. And you, like I tell you, you smooth it out the way you want. I hope everybody's doing great. I've been thinking about everybody. And I was thinking, you know, should I do this? Should I not? It was kind of a debate, only because of the fact that, you know, some people are just like, I don't want Kool-Aid, you know. Some people just don't like Kool-Aid, but this is such a good. And this is in a lot of recipes, guys. All these church cookbooks, this is in every kind of cookbook, from the 70s especially. I'm gonna put that over there. So, I like to, uh, I don't smooth mine out completely just because it looks flat if you do that, but it's up to you. I actually make little swirls all over this and I just continue to swirl it until I get the little, the little peaks or the little, the little circles I want. Oops, I can put my lemonade one over there. And you decide, I think this is so fun and so easy. And that is it, guys. That is it. You're going to chill this now. You're just going to chill this for two hours. You can go three if you really want to make it nice. Okay, I guess I'll just put that over there. <laughs> okay, and here's my lid. Put this on top. Lock this back. Not going to take you more than a few minutes. And chill this. If you want, you can make this the night before just to go somewhere in the morning or in the daytime if you're gonna take this out for lunch. Do this the night before, it saves a lot of time. I do mine about three hours before. I think three hours is perfect. It's not like jello or anything. This sets pretty quick. I put it on the top shelf all the time. And through the magic of TV, whoops, we're gonna set that over there. Through the magic of TV, I've already done one. Let me show y'all. I was gonna cut it and I thought, no, nah, you know what, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. So anyhow, let me put that over there. And, oh, let me see, where's my plate? I don't even know, here's my little plate. Here's my little plate, oh, I'm getting dirty. Uh, here's my little plate, and here, we're gonna cut a piece. And guys, decorate this the way you want to. That's the best part. If you wanna add some marshmallows around, it looks really pretty. You don't have to do it perfect, as you can see, I already dropped one. Do the marshmallows, and what I really like, I like the sprinkles. I like the sprinkles, but the best part is to add a little bit of this topping. Oh yeah, or a piece of fruit looks nice. A piece of fruit would work. Okay, let me see here. Whoops, see if I can get that out. Oops, I'm gonna have stuff everywhere, okay. Okay, oops, well I chilled it and it's pretty chilled. Oh, it looks so good guys, looks so good. Let me get a fork here. Get a little bit of this. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And I'm not a big sweet person, but I love this one. I just, there's something about it. I'm crazy about it. Mm. Mm. I, I tell you guys, you won't even be able to tell. You're not gonna be able to tell that it only took you three things to make this. Three, let's see, one, two, three. Three, three or four things to make this. The whipped cream, the Cool Whip, the pie crust, the Kool-Aid, and the condensed milk. You're not gonna be able to tell. Mm. It's fantastic. <coughs> it's fantastic, guys. I just wanna gobble this whole thing up. It's fantastic, I can't tell you. Add the sprinkles, make it look pretty. Add some, you can add some of those candy flowers to it. You get the kids involved. Your kids could do this. It's a lot of fun. It's not gonna take you much. And I gotta show you real quick, the craft of the day. Oh my gosh. I cannot tell you how excited I got about this craft. I've been wanting to do this craft forever. It's the resin. It's the resin, you make your own jewelry. It's fantastic. And they sell these little frames. And if you can see this here, I have this one. I have Elvis, I already made Elvis. And I did the Barbie. I did this one for Bunny, because I think Bunny looks like this Barbie. She just kind of resembles that Barbie. I did a Southwestern look, and this is your resin, guys. They sell this now at the dollar store. I can't believe it. It's $5, so it's in the $5 aisle. It's no big deal, because they have the $5, the $3. They have the little piece, the little uh, pan that you can put this in, and it's super easy. It just takes you overnight. You do it the night before, the next day, this is all ready and you're gonna use one tablespoon of each. You're gonna use your, let's see, this is the resin part and this is the hardener. 
So you're gonna have to do one tablespoon. I don't know how to go further than that. I did one and one. I would do my projects and I would start another batch. Uh, you could probably read up on it, how many to do a, a large batch. I thought this was fantastic. I did this, I did these necklaces, and you can cut up whatever you want. You could add flowers. I got an old atlas out. I did maps and I found Las Vegas. So I really like this one. And I just got like the cheap cording from Michaels where you just, you know, use as much as you want. It was on sale. And I made necklaces. And Timu has all these little pieces, guys. You know that website, Timu? These little pieces, you're gonna get 10 pieces for about $1.89. You can get them in silver, that pink gold. You can get them in any colors you want. You can get them in black if you want to. I liked them. I thought they were neat. I thought they were worth it. I had to wait a couple of weeks to get my order, you know, maybe a week, but I think it's worth it. They're gonna make great gifts. I like it. And if you look behind me here, I've got magnets. Oh my gosh. I got the Atlas. I went nuts. Whoops, here's my pins. I did. I did these little magnets. I took all the favorite places that I like, cities I wanna to go to. I wanna to go to Reno, I wanna to go to Hawaii. I did all these, and these are just these little wooden discs that they sell at the craft place. And I put a magnet on the back. But guys, all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your resin with a toothpick or a popsicle stick. You're gonna add a little gloss and you're just gonna brush it right off. You're gonna let it dry. And you're gonna get this pretty little magnet the next day. You're gonna get, you're gonna get this gorgeous look of this glossiness. I did Dolly. I did uh, Desperately Seeking Susan. I love this movie. And here's Los Angeles. Let's see, where's this one at? This is Reno. Austin, I did Austin because I love Austin. So this was so much fun. I cannot even tell you. And you can do, you don't even need the shapes, guys. If you don't want to buy the shapes, just make sure you make your own little shape. I made a Barbie pin and I did Elvis, of course. So this is going to look good on my denim jacket. I'm all ready for fall. I just liked it. Didn't take me more than about five minutes to do this. The hard part is waiting for it to dry. So anyway, big sip guys, big cheers to everybody. Mm. I hope you try out the Kool-Aid pie. The Kool-Aid pie is so easy, you're gonna love it. You Try out all the flavors, try, <clears throat> excuse me, try the lemonade, try, try the lime, try the grape. You're gonna love it. So big kisses, mm. I've been thinking about everybody. Take care and have a great week. Bye.